retirement, you'll face many personal planning considerations, including the changes in marital or partner status. Joining me, discuss the risk of divorce, separation, and remarriage, and what steps you can take to manage that risk is Cindy Levering, a co-author of Managing Post-Retirement Risk, which was recently published by the Society of Actuaries. Cindy, let's start with you giving us a description and then how to manage it. Okay, thanks. Uh, well, divorce can create major financial problems for either or both of the parties and can be a shock that retirees often don't recover from well. Um, you don't often tend to think about divorce in the uh, retirement uh, age group, but uh, I've actually heard the term gray divorce being used uh, from time to time. Uh, and it, you know, as, as it, any age, it generally involves splitting up assets. Um, and it costs more to maintain two separate households than a joint single household. Uh, so that has to be taken into consideration. Um, marriage and divorce can affect entitlements under public and private pension plans, as well as Social Security. Um, so there's, there's a lot of things to think about there. Uh, in terms of managing that risk, it's very important to engage uh, uh, professionals who specialize in this um, uh, topic and that can assist both parties in knowing their rights and assessing the value of the assets and the income that they might receive uh, uh, after the divorce. Uh, after the divorce, uh, the law allows for pension, private pension plan benefits uh, that are covered by ERISA to be split, but that, that has to be done through a qualified domestic relations order, otherwise known as a quadro. Um, so that has to be properly drafted and, um, and executed in order to, to, uh, to be valid. Um, Social Security does pay some benefits on divorce, um, similar to spousal benefits to a former spouse after the divorce if the couple was married for 10 years. So uh, that's something to, to think about, at least 10 years. Um, however, divorced spouses benefits generally uh, end upon remarriage. Uh, so again, that's something, something to think about. Uh, mm -hmm. Older couples who marry, especially those that have children, they want to establish a prenuptial agreement uh, that defines each party's rights to uh, distribute or dispose of property as they wish. Um, not as a court would decree um, in the event of divorce. So uh, again, a lot of things to think about and, and uh, best to get professional advice on these matters. Mm. Well, that's really helpful, Cindy. Uh, thanks for describing the risks and the ways to manage it. Appreciate it. You're welcome.